Next is my game with Nigel Short, um, uh, Chess Olympiad, Thessaloniki 1988. So uh, that was C4, just game again transposed into the um, Queen's Gambit, and Nigel did want to play classical cross but so he played Bishop E7. So I chose, as always at that time, exchange on D5 was Bishop E4, and then Queen C2. So G6, C3, Bishop F5, Queen D2. Now we reached uh, Petrosian's position, Knight F6, F3. And here, instead of Castle, which would be a normal move, still in my uh, uh, opinion, gives White an edge, or even modern H5, trying to, to uh, prevent uh, uh, White uh, gaining space advantage on the, on, 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 uh, on the um, uh, king side. Nigel played c5, which I think was uh, premature because after bishop h6, uh, white was able to cut black's king from, uh, from its uh, uh, natural, uh, square, natural um, position on g8 and uh, uh, prepared you know, an assault uh, on, on, the, on the king, which had to stay on e8. So cd4, ed, a6, it looks that Black could afford to play, you know, these quiet moves because it goes tight c6 and develops the pieces. But in fact, everything goes very quickly. G4, bishop e6, knight g2, knight bd7, and now Black is trying to uh, protect already uh, knight um, uh, bishop on e6, uh, having maybe rook on c6 or going with knight on b6. I think knight c6 was more natural, but the position was pretty annoying after simple bishop g2. So bishop g2, knight b6, b3, so it seems that black has very little to do, while white has a plan of castling, bringing rook on e1, and uh, uh, trashing black's position through the, e, through the open uh, e-file. Rook c8 castle, rook c6, h3. That's another quiet but instructive move, so instead of just simply attacking on... on, on uh, 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 e file, uh, white is preparing an assault starting with f4. So black was trying to do something to, to prevent it, but in fact it's all, all in vain. So knight of d7, knight d1. The beauty of that of such a position that white could always maneuver while black has very little um, to offer uh, um, in defense. Now rook g8 is an attempt to cut the bishop, so trying to play g5. But in fact, it's all, all, it's not going to work because here after g5, uh, white could simply play f4 and then, you know, you could see the difference on, you know, the position with white pieces um, squeezed, you know, in, in, in a very unfortunate situation and king on e8 while white king is well protected on g1 and the white, white pieces are all playing an important function. So f5, rook e1, now g5, but then after g5, so it's happened that after bishop takes e5, uh, knight g3, so black position is completely, completely lost. Bishop f7, now knight uh, g4, bishop h5, and now uh, bishop knight g3. So after bishop takes g4, white simply play bishop takes g5, and then it's all, all bad. Just uh, look here, and uh, look here, so, and... In fact, bishop on g4 is simply lost, it can't go anywhere. So Nigel resigned, so that was a very quick game, but in fact it's all resulted not from poor performance of black, but a very uh, uh, bad choice of the opening, without just recognizing all the potential dangers, that uh, all the poison that could be carried in such an innocent opening as uh, Queen's Gambit.